What are you hungry for? Whatever it is, follow your hunger. Story time. I think I must have been four or five. There was a lady named Tari. Tari tere guttute par andar tere lal nahi. She used to help out in the house. One day she, before leaving, wanted to have some food. And my mother said the dal is not yet ready. It will be another 15-20 minutes or so forth. Why don't you wait? And she was hungry and she had to go someplace. She said, just make me a couple of rotis and give me some achar, a pickle. My mom used to make the best mango pickle that I know of for my taste. She used to make it with uh, kalonji and fennel seeds and so forth. Real Punjabi style. I have been an observer from the longest time I know. I used to love watching people. And she squatted, took a couple of rotis in her hand and a dollop of mango pickle. And she took a bite of that roti with some mango pickle. And you took that bite deep in the back of her mouth. And she was gone, looking into infinity. One of her eyes were squinting. She was gone. And she was enjoying that roti with just the pickle. So much so that I developed the taste of eating just roti with pickle by watching her. Obviously, it left a deep impression on me. Someone who doesn't remember what I ate for breakfast remembers this from almost 50 years ago. The original lesson from the story was that when you are hungry, just simple bread will be the most delicious meal that you ever had. In this context, we're talking about finding the purpose of your life, listening to your heart, doing something that is meaningful. How do I find it? People talk about spirituality. People talk about meditation. Oh, I don't have interest in meditation. I don't have time for meditation. I don't know how to meditate each time I sit down. My mind is not still this excuse or that excuse. In any context, excuses are nothing but lack of interest, lack of devotion, lack of hunger. <laughs> when you're hungry, you want to satiate your hunger. That becomes your number one priority. Procurement of food to satiate your hunger. Getting something to eat, even if it is junk food, you want to satiate your hunger. And then there is specific hunger. What are you hungry for? That's the question. Another way to put that question is, what do you want? What do you really want? What do you really, really want? And don't judge it. It's easier to follow this path by just watching physical hunger. Hunger of five senses. Touch, smell, taste, sight, and listening. What do you want to do? Sometimes comes from what do you like to do? What do you love to do? What are you hungry for? What could you do? all day long and not feel I'm working. Think about it. Do not judge your hunger. Whatever your hunger is, follow your hunger because it will lead you to your purpose. When you follow your hunger, 
you get satiated, you get happy. When you're happy doing what you love doing, then you're listening to your heart. The purpose of your life is going to come from listening to your heart. The purpose of life is actually nothing but following your heart, whatever your heart says. Your life purpose will also come from there. If that means peace on earth, making everyone happy, eradicating hunger, disease, death, whatever it is, so be it. Don't judge it. Because that hunger will drive you to life projects. Because life projects or life work requires a lot of energy. And to do life work, you need certain hunger. So what are you hungry for? Follow your hunger. That truly means I love me.